Thanks, Scotty Dyson. And you enjoy your spotted animals. I don't know who's more jealous of who. I think Scotty with the leopards and me with... Well, jealous of his cheetahs. But yes, you can see we have another spotted creature, and it's not Hosanna at this stage. We went driving around just to see if we can't find Hosanna and follow up on those Franklins that were alarm cloning close to Tandy, and we bumped into a hyena. I'm not sure which hyena it is yet. It kind of been sleeping very flat, and actually that's the first time it's put up its head. So for all our hyena experts out there, hashtag Safari Live or on the YouTube chat as to who this may be. I don't know if it's going to be easy to ID it from just the head shot like that. But there's the rest of the body and you can see that hyena has definitely had something to eat. So there is a nice full belly. I wonder if it maybe hasn't stolen the other carcass because remember there was a carcass from Hosanna and there was one from Tundi. So I don't know if maybe this hyena has managed to grab one of those two or the bits of it and has had a really good meal this morning and is doing much like what Tundi is doing and that is having an absolute fat nap in the shade. It still kind of pushes its head up every now and then just to see what's going on but other than that it is very very dormant. I would imagine Hosanna must be here somewhere because I've done a loop all the way around and I'm yet to find his tracks coming out of this area. It seems as though the only tracks that we found were where Tundi dragged the kill to the car to the tree itself. So I'm sure Hosanna is here as well. We'll just have to try to see if we can find him. But what a way to come back to work to have two leopards and a hyena in the same proximity and the chance of the Inkuma Pride bumping into all of this a little bit later would be quite fantastic too. So I reckon we're in for a good eat this afternoon. I keep looking back just to see because the hyena keeps picking its head up and looking over its shoulder. So I was just wondering if Hosanna maybe was somewhere on one of these trees. So Maura, you want to know, is a hyena match for a leopard? Well, most certainly a, a big adult female hyena will take on female leopards without a shadow of a doubt. And they'll also even take on young males, inexperienced young males like Hosanna or Tamba would be dominated by big adult fully grown hyenas. They are big, they're bulky, and they've got serious power in their jaws. So leopards know that it's rather than fighting over a small bit of meat, they'll often just leave it and try and get up into a tree and get out of the way of the hyenas. I've seen a couple male leopards stand their ground in their time. So I've once had a sighting of Anderson, and it was amazing because Anderson is probably one of the biggest male leopards that I've seen out in this area. And he was sleeping much like this hyena was sleeping and was busy taking it very easy and he was kind of watching and in the distance some of these hyenas started to arrive and there was a couple females in there and there was one female in particular and she's from the Elephant Plains clan which is just to our west and she's a big ginger hyena and she's massive and she's got this kind of distended belly from all the young ones that she's had where it's herniated and she's really a big girl but she has no time for any other cats she's always quite aggressive and Anderson was kind of watching and thinking to himself well nothing's gonna happen and he just kind of flopped back down and from the top of this hill it was about 100 120 meters this hyena just started running and Anderson kind of popped his his head back up and was watching her come and she kept coming kept coming and eventually Anderson realized well, this is not going to work for him and he tried to kind of turn but at that time the hyena hit him and knocked him off the bank and he went rolling down and ran up into a tree so even a big male leopard like that can sometimes fall foul to hyenas but generally the male leopards and hyenas will kind of just stand their ground with one another and leave each other alone but this particular female hyena was having none of it when it came to Anderson